So Terry, cheers for joining us this week. Um, looking back to Hartlepool, for the fans, it probably wasn't a good game up until about 88 minutes, but um, how do you see the performance? Uh, it was a tough game. Um, it was always going to be a tough game anyway, um, with, with Matthew Bates leaving and uh, Craig Hignett just sort of uh, taking the mantle, really. Um, and you, you knew that, that they, they were going to react at uh, Hartlepool, and, uh, and they did, and they did, to be fair. And, um, it, it was a tough game, you know, we, we didn't have much of the ball, uh, didn't see much of the ball, um, had to be organised, gave a, a penalty away early doors, um, which I thought was, was, from where I'm standing, was debatable, but the referee gave it, so we, we had to take that on board, really. Um, and sometimes when you're, when you're up against it, you, you know, all you say to the players is, you know, stay in the game, just stay in the game, that's all you have to do, you know, if you go one down, make sure you don't go two down. Um, yeah. And, and that's what I felt that we did. Um, and as I said, uh, when we're pushing later on in the game, um, you know, we put three up and uh, one behind the three, and we were just trying to get something. And you know, we've we got our breaks. It's probably something that we haven't had this season. So um, just take the points. As you mentioned, there is um, earlier this season. You probably would have seen it gone the other way, like yeah. um, losing late on into Sutton, and we've seen it earlier in the season. It must be positive a manager to sort of get that result, especially travelling all up to Hartlepool and just getting that late on goal and get taking the three points from Hartlepool. Yeah, it, it was, um, I mean, obviously I, I said to the players um, when we came in uh, at the start of the week uh, for training that, um, you know, that, that, those occasions, you, you can't buy that, you, mm. even that, those, those, that feeling, you can't buy that. That happens every now and again, not very often, not very often really, to be fair. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, we had a period of, of games where we got beat by the odd goal. I think we got beat 2-1 on numerous occasions. Mm -hmm. um, so we knew that we weren't too far away. Um, and obviously with, with, the, uh, with the other guys coming in on board now, um, it, it, it's bolts us up with, it, with regards to experience and quality. Um, and at the moment, we, we, we're getting our just rewards. And um, before we head into the Christmas period, we saw those two games against Halifax and Salford, how important would it be to sort of get over that 30 point mark and um, sort of not forget the early season but sort of cancel it out? Yeah, it would be nice to get to the 30 point mark before Christmas, mm -hmm. um, we, we, we spoke about that in house as well, um, but uh, regardless of, of who we play, certainly in this league, they're tough, they're all tough, I mean we have a tough Christmas, um, but we, we know that, we, we know what Orient and Barnet bring. Um, but prior to that, you know, we, we, we've got uh, we've got the game, uh, an important game Saturday, which we need to try and continue in our run. Mm -hmm. um, and then we, we have a break, obviously, for, for the FA Trophy game. Yeah. Um, so, but we, we'll cross it three, you know, we, we, when we approach it. Um, the most important thing at the moment, I know people keep saying, is, is the next game, but it is. The news getting released um, tomorrow afternoon when this interview goes up that Just Am has one player of the month. Been a massive month for him, becoming father, and obviously yeah. some great games he's played in. And yeah, he is a thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. You know, I mean, uh, he, he actually uh, on, on the day that, that his, his little girl was born, mm. um, that was one hell of a day for him. That was fantastic, yeah. and and he's gone on from there. He's gone from strength to strength. So <clears throat> yeah, um, fantastic time for him. Thoroughly, thoroughly deserved. Um, you know, he's, he's in my eyes, he's a top-class keeper, thorough, a very, very nice guy as well to boot. And um, sort of uh, looking at injuries as well, we haven't really seen um, Nathan Smith. Is there any update on his sort of? No, to, to my knowledge, um, I, I think he, he's got some bone bruising, which can be a, a painful and, and be a little bit uh, time-consuming with regards to getting fit. You know, it, it's one of these that you have to take it day by day, day by day. So. But um, John Gowans, you know, is working doubly hard on, on with regards to Nathan and Liam Bellamy, yeah. um, and, and, and hopefully, you know, they'll, they'll be back in in the not too distant future. And then, um, obviously, as you mentioned, uh, Halifax on Saturday, sort of like uh, get our get our own back. We didn't lose. It's like one of those two one games up there, so, and we've done it with Hartlepool. We got our own back with Hartlepool. We'd be looking to. Sort of get our own back with Halifax. Yeah, as well. it, it, it would be nice to, 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 to continue the run, mm -hmm. uh, and if that means taking three points off off Halifax, then so be it. Uh, we know it's going to be tough. It was tough up there. Mm -hmm. um, they uh, 
worked very, very hard, got some good players, um, good manager. Um, just I think just above us in, in the table at the moment. Um, on just you know points wise is, is very minimal. Um, so yeah, it, it, it's going to be tough. Uh, we, we, we know that, but uh, we're on a good run at the moment. We're on a good run, and, and hopefully it, it will continue.